there's two buttons here. The first one is the power button. The power button turns on the panels as well as the pump. The second button turns on the boiler that boils the water as well as the steam. The steam is used for milk frothing. So you just turn it on or turn it off. This panel, you have six buttons here. The first button is an espresso, single shot. The third button is an espresso, double shot. The round icon here is for a manual shot or water that comes out from your group head. The last button is water that comes out from here. This cools the water from the boiler. I'll be showing you how to set your espresso shots. One of the key things you should have is a measuring shot glass. Place the measuring shot glass at the exit point for your espresso. Hold down the button with the round icon for about five seconds. It will start to blink. Now, when it blinks, it means that it's in setting mode. If you do not press anything, it will disappear within three to five seconds. Again, if you like to set the espresso, you need to hold this button to for about five seconds. For, for now, I'm going to show you how to um, set the single shot espresso. Hold this down for five seconds. Press the single shot. And once you're done, press the round icon again to set. As a recap, to set your espresso shot, press the round icon until it blinks. Takes about five seconds. After that, press the single shot espresso or the double shot, depending on which you like to set. Just now I was pressing the single shot because it's a single water filter. Once I'm done, I press the round icon again to set it. For the espresso, remember you need to go through the whole process of the coffee making. It includes uh, ensuring that you have the correct grind size, if you temp it properly, and last but not least, you like to get roughly about a 30 ml for espresso. If you're doing a ristretto, that's roughly 20 to 22 ml. If you're doing the double shot, it's the same process again. The difference is you need to use a double shot potter filter rather than a single shot potter filter. There's a total of six buttons here. The first four buttons, which is single shot, the third button is double shot. Um, there's two more buttons which you can set it to your heart's content. Um, some cafes, what they normally do is they have an espresso, ristretto, single, double espresso, double ristretto. I'll be showing you how to do the back flush cleaning for your ES100. The first step is to get your blank for your water filter. This is a blank. And this is the normal filter. So you like to get the blank first, place it inside your filter holder. Place it inside your machine, make sure it's slightly tight. Um, next up, you like to press this button, running water, for roughly about two seconds. As like this. One, two. One, two. Repeat this uh, a few times. This um, creates a black flush to wash the inside of your coffee machine. If you like to have a better effect in cleaning, you may want to put some cleaning, uh, espresso cleaning detergent um, here before you start this process. Goodbye and please subscribe. Goodbye and please subscribe. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.